Alright, so Intel is at $55.51 with a market cap of $225.48 billion. And we're staying steady in this $50 range, you know. We have some, some ups and downs, but overall, within reason, and that's pretty solid, I guess. Um, but Intel has been struggling. I, I know some of you believe that Intel is fine, you know. We're, you know, they're staying the course and there's no worries, but overall, all my videos reinforce my facts here they're losing market share they're not doing very much and this move that i'm about to announce reinforces everything so intel ouse ceo bob swan intel on wednesday said ceo bob swan would be succeeded by vmware inc chief pat gelsinger effective february 15th mr gelsinger who was once Intel's technology chief has served as CEO of the business software provider since 2012. So you got a person who is leaving a solid business. Uh, at VMware, I, I personally would stay with that. I mean, VMware has always been hot. They're it's just a solid, solid business. So that's I'm I'm surprised that they're getting um, getting Gelsinger. They must have a solid offer for him to do that because intel has been struggling they're losing market share little by little but overall that adds up and you do not replace your ceo if the company is doing well it's as simple as that this reinforces every video i made before and it it should tell you that hey if i buy this stock is it going to be 55 dollars next year or is it going to be $45 next year? Because right now, not a whole lot's going on with Intel. They just keep messing up and keep losing shares. So that's what I want you to be aware of because this is big. Replacing a CEO, that's um, that that's that's giant news. Um, you know, it it's just something you should be aware of. Obviously, this this is dated uh on on the 13th but i i want you to be aware of this and that it's coming very soon so hey we might see intel turn its you know course around which i would have faith that this new person is going to come in and turn it around but you never know the the competition is a lot stronger than it was before you know, it's not just Intel and AMD, it's Intel, AMD, Samsung, Apple, everyone now. They're, they're, it's just cheaper to produce your own chips and it's more beneficial if you did produce your own chips. So a lot of companies are going to go that route. And AMD, like I always say, a lot of you do not believe this, but they are chipping away at Intel slowly. I, I thoroughly believe Intel will be number one in hey 20 years but we'll get there i i thoroughly believe that so stay on top of the stuff do your own research have some fun make some money video is not financial advice any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice do your own research before making any financial investments